Get ready for something really deep. Scientists finally reveal the main secret of the Mariana Trench. The curiosity of human nature makes people look for secrets and mysteries far away from home, like in outer space or on other planets. But did you know there's another source of the unknown, much closer but still largely unexplored? Scientists have mapped only 5% of our planet's seafloor. And if you've ever considered the ocean plain and boring, the video you're about to watch will blow your mind. The Mariana Trench is the deepest area you can find on Earth. Although almost everybody has heard the name, we have shockingly little data about this dark, underwater place in the western Pacific Ocean. And no wonder. It's a monumental task mapping the seafloor and taking pictures when the water pressure at the bottom is more than 1,000 times greater than that at the surface. That's a lot of pressure! At 1,580 miles long, that's five times longer than the Grand Canyon, and 43 miles wide, the Mariana Trench houses the deepest parts of our planet. And the deepest part of the world's deepest trench is what's known as the Challenger Deep. Are we getting the point across that this thing is really deep? In 2014, researchers from the University of New Hampshire published the results of a seafloor mapping that showed that the depth of the Challenger Deep is 36,037 feet. Yikes! That means, if we compare that to the highest point on Earth, the top of Mount Everest at 29,026 feet above sea level, the Challenger Deep is still 7,011 feet deeper than Everest is tall. If you could descend into the waters of the trench, you would immediately be crushed to death. Oh, that hurts. All right, let's start that one again. If you could descend into the waters of the trench, you would come across active mud volcanoes, underwater vents puffing out carbon dioxide and liquid sulfur, and marine life that look absolutely extraterrestrial. One of the most unusual species is a snailfish that lives 5 miles underwater. For comparison, that's higher than most clouds from the Earth's surface. In November, scientists officially documented the deepest living fish in the world. It's a cute pinkish creature with skin so translucent that you can see its internal organs. This fish is about the length of two cigars and seems extremely fragile. But don't let its appearance fool you. In fact, this snailfish can survive water pressure that would be as heavy as having 1,600 elephants standing on it. But that's not all. There was another fish species scientists managed to film at the same depth. Its body was so delicate that someone compared it to thin paper floating through the water. Since it hasn't been caught yet, the fish doesn't have an official name. Scientists are just calling it the ethereal snailfish. Or how about Bob? Bob the fish. Yeah. That's not the only recent discovery to do with the Mariana Trench. In 2016, researchers announced that they found the source of a mysterious metallic sound that had been the instigator of numerous conspiracy theories. Or so they believe. This noise has an amazingly wide range of frequency. Kind of like me. It starts with a deep moan at 38 hertz. Oh, that hurts is followed by three other pretty crazy-sounding noises and ends with a metallic finale that reaches as high as 8,000 hertz. <laughs> this cryptic cacophony of sorts lasts from 2.5 to 3.5 seconds and sounds so alien that it'll make your blood run cold. Despite the enigma surrounding this phenomenon, scientists believe that the dwarf minke whale is responsible for this noise. This species mating call is really similar to the Star Wars sounds recorded in the depths of the Mariana Trench. I am your father. This explanation seems rational and logical enough, except for one glaring flaw in the theory. If it's a mating call, why is it heard throughout the year? The mating season of dwarf Mickey whales is in the winter. 
scientists themselves can't explain it, therefore leaving grounds for doubt. To this day, no one has seen any material proof that it's definitely the whale making this weird sound. So, perhaps, it's aliens after all. So, do you believe that the whales are to blame for this extraterrestrial noise? Or do you think it's beings from outer space? Sound off in the comments below. And if you're fond of mysteries and hard-to-explain phenomenon, check out the links at the top of the screen. But we're not done yet. There are so many other unbelievable creatures lurking in the deep waters of the Mariana Trench. For example, the Holothrian or deep-sea cucumber is, again, a translucent creature that grows much bigger than the ones living in shallow water. But just like their shallow cousins, they shoot their guts out of their bodies to protect themselves from predators. Hey, get away from me! Take that! Blah. Ah, but don't worry, their organs regenerate really fast. Another interesting fact is that other organisms can live inside the bodies of holothrins, feeling perfectly at home. The deep-sea anglerfish has a really odd mating ritual. The male is incomparably smaller than the female and lives for the sole purpose of delivering sperm. Afterward, the male bites into the female so hard that he soon becomes a permanent part of her body, just like a parasite. Jeez, talk about a clingy boyfriend. The predatory tunicate is a gelatinous animal that sticks its body to the side of an underwater canyon or to the seafloor. Looking at them, you'd probably think they're some sort of jellyfish. But they're actually more closely related to humans if we consider their body structure. These creatures lie in ambush until some poor small fish gets itself stuck in their enormous hooded mouth. Now, the barrel eye fish looks like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's hard to imagine that nature could create a fish with a transparent head and barrel-shaped eyes sitting inside. These eyes are extremely sensitive and can easily notice prey in the darkness of the deep water. Seriously, this is the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> All these creatures look like horror film monsters, but perhaps it's just the nature of their environment. The cute ones wouldn't survive in the harsh conditions of the Mariana Trench. At its floor, there are hydrothermal vents spewing out extremely acidic fluids. The temperature around them can be higher than 500 degrees Fahrenheit, while the typical seafloor temperature is never higher than 39 degrees Fahrenheit. One more unique phenomenon you can find only in the Mariana Trench is the champagne vent. Despite its cool name, it's got nothing to do with the stuff you drink on New Year's. The champagne vent is the only underwater place known to people where you will see liquid carbon dioxide. No wonder local inhabitants have to adapt if they want to survive, just like the 4-inch amoeba. Standard-issue amoebas are microscopic single-celled organisms, so 4 inches is actually ginormous for these things. While such elements as uranium, lead, and mercury would easily kill people and most animals, these deep-sea creatures aren't the least bit phased by them. Scientists have spotted these amoebas deeper than 6.5 miles, and who knows, maybe that's not the limit. Whatever we know about the Mariana Trench nowadays is still a small fraction of what there is to learn. Maybe someday, the deepest place on the planet will reveal all its secrets to mankind. But that day is yet to come. So, which fact have you found the most shocking? Tell us in the comment section below. If you found this video fascinating, don't forget to show it to us with a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss out on any new curious and informative videos, subscribe to our channel and join us on the Bright Side of Life!